I am just gonna make a quick video here to showcase something I found. After a couple of months, I have finally perfected something that makes Smash Ultimate feel similar to Melee. I mean, it's not completely accurate to Melee, but some of the characters seem pretty spot on. I have the Spirit List. First of all, I have a maxed out Supersonic, which gives you speed. And then I have three landing-like spirits. This makes it so, basically, landing most aerials will allow you to combo into another aerial. And there's one other factor you need for this, but I've found that if you go into custom matches and you set the weight to heavy, it basically allows like the knockback and stuff and the, basically the movement and things to feel very similar to how Melee does the knockback and the fast forward and stuff. So I set up a quick, you know, custom rule set real quick, four stock, eight minutes, um, no items, stages, hazards on, all that. And I'm just gonna show you how this game feels with this sort of thing. Just plop the melee spirit set on whoever's playing. I set this to a level five. And I'm gonna be playing as Mario, because he feels really good. Mario does still feel sort of less ultimate, but he does have some physics on it. So, notice how the jumping works. And notice the combos from aerials. Notice how fast I can act out of an aerial on the ground. It's pretty crazy. Because of the weight, some characters' recoveries are way better than they were before, and some are way worse. For instance, characters like Captain Falcon still have a recovery that works fine. But, you know, I'll just show you once I get into another match, because with these characters, their recovery is still pretty fine. Mario's is less in this, but not by too much. Alright. Oh, that forward aerial! It feels really good in here because you see these spirits put both your attack and defense up, so your actual attack damage is pretty normal, but the sounds are meaty, which is cool. The effects seems a bit more dramatic, not too much though. Oh! It's sour spotted. Oh! This one will not sour spot. Never mind. Oh, I'm not dead though. Alright, here we go. Down tilt. Forward air. Oh! Okay. Here we go. Now, I have played Project Down, so I do have some experience with how melee physics here. So, I can say that I do feel. I, it's not exactly me, right, but this is very similar. And it's the closest that I think we'll probably get to Melee's sort of physics without modding. But once we are able to mod safely and easily, then, you know, there's going to be so many mods that make the game feel like Melee. Just because the game is so competitive anyway, it would just be a perfect match. Alright, I have to do at least one more forward area. Either to end it, or in this one stop, similar to how you were doing the So... Yeah, and you can see the recoveries are slightly worse, as I probably would have made that in normal ultimate. Alright, that was bad. Okay, back row. Oof. No! <laughs> and, you see, because of the heavy fast falls, your air dodges sort of work similar to how they do in the air, so the dodging's a lot less forgiving than this one. Okay. Four aerial! No! Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's do a down throw, up air, up air. Ooh. Shield. Okay, that's back. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that was smooth actually. Okay, forward air. Okay, I couldn't end it with the forward aerial, but that was still kind of stylish. I'll play a couple more matches, because this is really fun. So let's go to Final Destination for the next one. And I'm just going to show you how Captain Falcon plays, because 
He's still not like melee because there's no ground to air momentum and I have no real way to change that. Unless you were to mod the game, but... I want to show you Link's recovery because it's sort of just like Link's recovery from 64, which if none of you know what Link's recovery in 64 was, it sucked. There was like no aerial game. Look at this. Like look at how skimpy that recovery is. Let me just do a throw. I mean, he's not, but... If I get him, maybe a stage link off, he will die. And also, look, that, re that recovery doesn't even connect. He doesn't even connect. See, look! Link now sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, you can clearly see that his recovery is worse. Oof! No! I forgot to jump. Good thing that doesn't connect. Okay, here we go. Whoosh! Oh my god. What was that interaction? Hey, oh, what? Wait! That recovery definitely should have hit me. <laughs> oh! That was some good damage. Oof. No. no! I keep forgetting that your recovery is way worse in this one because of the heavier character layers. Okay. Alright, now he's dead. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no way you can break it back. Oh! Yeah, I really want to get a spike, but they are way riskier than lightning in this one. Because of the faster falling. If you miss a spike, you're pretty much dead. Oh! Okay, yeah. Um, the combos? The combos in Ultimate are pretty good anyway, but when you combine those sort of angles with the faster falling speed of this, you get combos like that, and that is incredible. I'm gonna show you all Marth, because Marth is pretty... he's pretty good in this, actually. Marth's hitboxes don't really... for some reason they don't really stun you much, and you just get launched, which is the best thing. Let me show you this. Of course, we can't get his grab range, but just look at look at his aerials. Like his aerial game is insane. Like he can just space you out with forward air and back air. It's pretty nuts. So I mean, I guess you don't have to be as skillful as melee Marth, but it does feel pretty fresh. <laughs> I guess you could say. All right, that was bad. <laughs> and his recovery isn't as good as well. Sort of like Mario's. Ooh! Okay! No! Oh, I messed up my recovery, but... At least I got the stage cut. And faster falling speed... Does make it more... You know... Dangerous if you miss it. The angles you get sent at are real crazy. Okay. There we go! Whoa, that was an awesome sword angle. Look at that. Oh, he's dead. That was an interesting way to recover, and that's why it didn't work. Marth feels good. <laughs> it, it does look weirder than normal Ultimate Marth, but, I mean, it does feel good if you play it. I want to show y'all Jigglypuff, because we know how much of a monster Jigglypuff is in Melee, right? I mean, let's see how she is with this sort of melee spirit attached. Her jumps are definitely lower than the ones normally. And again, she can have her aerial faster, so she can do stuff like this. <laughs> like that. Which is kind of stupid. Hold on. Yep! 
Yep. Oh shoot. Dang. But yep, you can camp on the ledge. You won't get the invincibility, but you can basically do exactly what you do in melee. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Oh. You know, Pikachu's recovery is pretty good, actually, because it doesn't really deal with the weight, so... It's pretty much the same as it is in Ultimate. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yep, you can definitely play <laughs> something similar to Melee Jigglypuff. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> I completely forgot Jigglypuff didn't have an upgrade. I almost sent Pikachu to the other side of the stage with the forward. That's nuts. Okay, no! I forgot again. Wow, small brain plays right here. Oh, here's the big brain. Yep, rest still kills. Not as much as melee, but I guess it's still viable. <laughs> I want to see how the newer characters act in this sort of melee, sort of pseudo melee engine thing. So let's go to one of my favorite maps, Yoshi's Story. You know what? Let's see how Joker. Plays. Joker. So far, I'm I'm not the best with Joker. Okay. I should just tell, like, RBDs to play this mode, because he uses Joker as a second game, so... Whoa! Okay, that was an early kill. Oh yeah, because of the fast four things, Little Mac probably really sucks. <laughs> no! And Air Dodge isn't that viable off stage anymore. Wait, hold up. When he did his up B, that... Is that normal length, or is that shorter? I can't tell. It might be shorter. Ooh, he's dead. Oh my gosh, he sucks again. It's Smash 4 all over again. Well, that was really cool. Like, use the air in the thing. Oh, Joker's recovery should actually be good. If he can get to the... If he can get near the ledge, he can use his upbeat. Oh! Here we go. Oh, if he used KO Punch, that would have been the end of him. He's dead! Yes! Oh, oh he's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's just like Smash 4. You get him to Little Mac once, he's gone. You know what? I mean, I might as well try out Robin's engine. I'm used to him in Ultimate, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess we could go against this. <laughs> the Elite Smash Troll. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, Let's see. Go! But so far, he feels pretty normal. Oh, but the aerials have way less land than that, so- Oh my god! Oh, well, that was a failure. Oh, well, I don't really know what's going on with Ness. Either he just keeps missing his recovery, or... This weight scale is just making his recovery really bad. I feel like it could be evil. At this point. Yep. Let's see, I don't really want to use side the off stage because I know that that will kill him. Okay, it has to be the heavyweight thing because he definitely should have been sent up, so... Apparently, Ness is just really bad at this. So that's fine. Alright, I'll let him get one and off. There we go. So, I mean, I really didn't get to test him there, but, I mean, he did feel 
a tiny bit faster, especially in the aerials, but I don't know, it still feels like Ultimate Rob. I mean, that's this weird pseudo, pseudo melee thing that I created, I guess. Okay, I'll go back to the spear combination so you can see them one more time. Make sure to go into Cousin Fresh to put on Heavy if you want to play this, because that'll give you the most authentic experience. I guess I'll just end the video there. Um, I don't know how good I outro, so...